Hello, welcome to LabVIEW Pro. In this video, we'll learn about how to use events in LabVIEW. On the front panel, we have two controls and a Boolean indicator, and on to the right hand side, we have a code that uses a simple code. So if we'll run it, what we'll see is the loop is running continuously. The signal is being read from the control and the value in the boolean has been updated continuously. But in some cases, we may not require the loop to run continuously. When we need the loop to run or the code to run only when we want to, we can implement events. So let's uh, copy the code and then update the values. Let's change the switch name to switch with events. And now go to the structures and use the event structure from there to add the events. What events actually does is it only lets the code to execute only when the event has been triggered. So we can edit the trigger, we switch it event. So whenever this button is been pressed, only then the code will run. So we can change the value. We'll add the event for the stop button as well. So when the stop two is being pressed, the event will be triggered and then the code will stop to execute. Let's clean up the diagram. Now if we'll run again, what we'll see is, let's reset everything before, and so if we'll run now, what we'll see is the loop on the top will run continuously while the loop on the bottom will wait for the event to be triggered. Now if we'll press that button, what we'll see is the respective code in the event is being triggered. So now we're getting the false value. When we trigger the event again, now the boolean is turned on. The difference between the code on the top and bottom is the loop on the top is being running continuously while the loop in the bottom with the event runs only when the button has been triggered. 